The story of Jacob. After some time, Esau returned carrying the meat he had prepared. Eat of the meat, Father, he said, and give me your blessing. Isaac trembled with surprise. The old man did not know what to do or what to say. At last he said, Who was he that brought me meat before you came? I bless him and he shall be blessed. Esau said, Bless me also, Father. Isaac said, Your brother came and got your blessing. He deceived me. And Esau replied, This is the second time he has taken my place. First, he took my right as the oldest son now he has taken my blessing have you not a blessing for me father Isaac answered I have made Jacob your master I have made all his brothers his servants I have blessed his crops. But Esau continued, I beg of you, my father, bless me also. Isaac felt very sorry for Esau. He blessed him and said, The time shall come when you will no longer be under the power of Jacob. From that day on, Esau hated Jacob. He said, Someday I will kill my brother. When Rebecca heard this, she sent Jacob away to her brother Laban in Hara. Learning of Jacob's plan to go to Haran, Isaac called him and blessed him. He told him to find a bride among the daughters of Laban. Jacob sent out of his journey to Haran. One night, he stopped to rest in an open field, taking a stone. He placed it under the head, under his head for a pillow. While he sleep, he saw a wonderful vision. The vision of a ladder reaching from the earth to heaven with the angels of God ascending and descending by it. The Lord standing on top of the ladder said to him, I am the Lord of Abraham and the Lord of Isaac, the land whereon you rest shall be given to you and to your descendants and your descendants shall be as numberless as the dust of the earth through you all the people of the earth shall be blessed wherever you will go I shall be with you and guide you and to watch over you I shall bring you back to this land 
and I shall never leave you until everything that I have told you shall be accomplished. Jacob called that place better, meaning house of God. Then he took the stone he had used as pillow, poured oil on it, and set it up as a sign and as a remembrance. Before reaching Haran, Jacob came to a well near which flocks of sheep were lying. There he met Rachel, daughter of Laban. His mother's brother, Jacob, fell in love with her and agreed to tend Laban's flocks for seven years. If at the end of that period he would be allowed to marry her. Jacob and Rachel finally were married. Even after his marriage, Jacob stayed with Laban and worked for him. God blessed Jacob and gave him great riches. In time, his own flocks increased. He became so rich that Laban invaded him and tried to cheat him. Now, Jacob no longer Jacob longed to return to the land of his father. One day, the Lord said to him, Return to the land of your father, and I shall be with you. Jacob started at once to do the Lord's bidding. He sent messengers to his brother Esau. This is the message they carried. I am returning from our mother's country. I have oxen and ashes and sheep and servants. I would like to be friendly with you. The messenger returned to Jacob saying, Your brother is coming with peace to meet you. He has your 400 men with him. At this, Jacob became very much frightened. He prayed, Oh God, protect me and my family from the hands of my brother Esau. That night, Jacob sent presents to Esau. He sent goats and camels, bulls and other animals. But Jacob and his family did not continue on their way. They passed the night in the camp. Early the next morning, the Lord said to Jacob, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. You shall be strong among men 
When Jacob saw Esau coming toward him, he went to meet his brother and bowed low to the ground. At the same time, Esau ran to meet Jacob. Esau embraced Jacob and kissed him, weeping. Jacob showed Esau the children God had blessed him with. Then he said, Take a person from me. The animals you pass by on the road are my gifts to you. Receive them and let us be friends.